Hello, in this video I'll be explaining how we can use this equipment to determine the electrical characteristics of electrical components such as a light bulb. The electrical characteristic is sometimes known as the IV curve, the current voltage curve, and it's a graph that represents uh, the behaviour of an electrical component at varying voltages. So let's have a look at the equipment we have here. Here we have a power supply. Uh, the voltage there I've set to 12 volts and I'm not going to change that because I've connected it to a, a variable resistor, a rheostat here. By sliding the slider on the rheostat I can alter its resistance and change the amount of voltage that is uh, being supplied to the light bulb which is connected here. You'll see that in series uh, with the power supply and the light bulb is an ammeter and then I've connected in parallel with the light bulb a voltmeter so that will measure the voltage just across the light bulb, just across the component that we're testing and this will measure the current through that component. So to begin let's switch on the power supply you can see that we have a current of 0.44 amps and a voltage of 0.49 amps. The light bulb is not visibly lit. So I'll record those two values and then I will adjust the rheostat. And now the voltage has gone up to 0.68 and the current is 0.53. Again, record this. And we keep adjusting the rheostat and taking readings You can see here that now we've reached around about 4 volts uh, across the light bulb, that the light bulb is dimly lit, there's about 1.06 amps passing through it. We continue taking measurements until we've got as many measurements as possible. You can see the light bulb now is fully lit. We then switch the terminals around on the power supply in order to determine the reverse characteristic of the light bulb. Once again, we slide the rear start back and we start taking measurements. So here we have z minus 0 0.25, 0 0.23 volts and minus 0 0.28 amps. And we keep adjusting the rear start, the, potenti the potentiometer until we've taken another series of measurements. You can see the light bulb lighting up again here. So you'll be left with a results table containing a number of voltage and current readings, including some or negative voltages and negative currents. We can then plot that data onto a graph and that will give us our IV characteristic for the light bulb. If we wanted to measure a different device, we would simply replace the light bulb with another object, perhaps a diode. And we do the same measurements again. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.